Man, I've been waiting for this trailer for a minute, man. I can't wait. Only reason I know about the Freak Nick is because of Too Short and E40. That is it. And Goody Mob. And Outcast. And Killer Mike. And Luda. Yeah, man. Yo. <laughs> Let's check this shit out, bro. Because what? The wildest party never told Freak Nick. Every generation has a moment where they come just to have some fun. Atlanta is the mecca for black people in America. It has multiple historically black colleges. In the 80s, we said, let's plan a picnic during spring break. Let's call it Freaknik. Freaknik was the greatest black gathering in America. It was like an entry point into the black cultural experience. To be able to be in oh, the middle dude. of the Bro, that fucking song, dude, was everywhere in my middle school. Dude, that was Ghost City DJs, bro. My boot, that, oh my God. Brings back a lot of memories. That song was it in eighth grade, man. Dancing, laughing, playing your music. It's a moment. The interstate, the highway, was a street party. There wasn't even a word called twerking. It was called boot. Yo. They did the right thing for choose the right song, the right fucking song. Be shaking. They want no social media, oh, barely no. had internet. Doing freak nick, stars start coming in. You were seeing Tupac, Cookie Mob, Outkast, Archer Raymond. I don't know what heaven looks like, but this seems like a version of it. You was lit, okay? The legacy of Freaknik is black joy, black self-determination, black love, black excellence, black enterprise. But the legacy of Freaknik is also the oh. ugly side. Here we go. It started to get a lot more out of control. People were coming by the masses. What the hell just happened? If you tried to bring back Freaknik, it wouldn't be what it was. That's true. The streets, the people, the debauchery. The things that I saw, insane. We had no inclination to the death that we were creating. Them kids ain't know nothing about freak me. Trust me, your mom and daddy got that. <laughs> Yo, yes, I can't wait for that for that documentary. And that releases on my birthday too, man. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna watch that shit. Um dude and, and they're right like oh that one person was right like if you try to bring it back now it wouldn't be the same it's like the equivalent of trying to bring woodstock back or uh the player's ball you would not be able to fucking capture what it once was man because people there people don't live in the moment anymore they they live for their social media and their likes and all that stuff they don't live in the present they don't live in the moment and i feel like that's what freak nick was is like you had to be there in that moment to really grasp that situation man i can't wait this is awesome yes this is fucking dope man i can't wait now i'm gonna go listen to ghost city djs bro for real i'll be right back